up galaxy it's time for bantha soup i'm your host gil garcia i want to wish a very special happy father's day to all my star wars daddies out there i had my family in town all from lubbock and we had the best time we definitely did some star wars hunting i picked up this ewok crisp cereal box that funko pops is putting out they're super fun shirts but the, I think the grand finale is the box that they come in. I've got the Boba Fett one. Now I got the Ewok one. I wore this shirt today at work. It is epic. I love these boxes. My mom hooked me up with this Star Wars Rebel Pilot lunch bag. She totally came through on this one. I am so excited to pack up my lunches and take this bad boy to work. I'm going to rock it. My wife hooked it up with a Trouble Game Mandalorian version. Now family game night is a big deal in our house and anytime i can incorporate star wars with mandalorian into family playtime uh, that's just a win win all day i'm so excited to bust this out and beat my family ha huh? my wife also hooked it up with this amazing mandalorian print it's on a wood canvas it's got the mando and the child so excited to hang that on the wall I want to give a shout out to Jaden's Toys. I picked up a great Little Hoth mini rig. I don't have this one, so I'm very excited to add this to the collection. It has this cool feature, like kind of this all-terrain wheel spread where you can go over different rocks and terrain. I am super stoked to have this Hoth mini rig. That's going to look perfect in the diorama. Picked up a second mini rig, and this one is just kind of a little single fighter jet and basically one figure fits in the cockpit has two swivel cannons on both sides of it it does come on this kind of it's a little weird the stand that it comes on it looks like it, it's incomplete like it's supposed to connect to something but for what it is you can stand it up you can you know move it around like it's flying uh the cockpit has a single joint opens up you put a single figure in there but yeah like you can kind of set it up like this where it's standing up straight maybe almost like a turret i guess that's that's kind of a good idea it could be more like of a turret put a figure underneath it pretty cool so if there's any pet owners out there we just got we have two dogs we just got a puppy a little pit bull baby girl she's beautiful but she managed to get her little canine teeth on my shadows of the empire luke so the size, the paint applications, the details, the mold, the play features, the accessories. This thing is incredible. You better believe there's going to be a full Bantha Soup review coming up. Stay tuned. Happy Father's Day. May the force be with the daddies. This is a cool story. So somewhere there's a warehouse and there's a pallet in there full of these Jabba the Hutt hookah pipes from Kenner's 1983 Jabba the Hutt. And somehow they had just been sitting there for years and years and they got discovered. So I actually got this on Entertainment Earth. I ordered it, but Entertainment Earth picked up the shipment and sold them off pretty cheap, $3.99. It's kind of a, just a cool little story. And the grand finale, the big daddy, the piece de la resistance. That's right. It's the Empire Strikes Back Slave One from Star Wars Vintage Collection. I am so stoked to have this thing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, we would really appreciate a like on our video. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe on YouTube to stay up to date on everything Bantha Soup. We do reviews, we build customs, we talk about everything Star Wars. Galaxy, thank you so much for watching. My name is Gil, and this is Bantha